My name is Earl Imes, and I'm at the historic state capitol in Raleigh, North Carolina, where the legislature in December 1865 ratified the 13th Amendment outlawing slavery. Well, what is the 13th Amendment? Well, it outlaws slavery and involuntary servitude in the United States, except for as a form of a punishment for a crime whereof that party would have been duly convicted. That is the amendment which frees everyone from the curse of slavery. But it was not a foregone conclusion that the 13th Amendment would be passed. Back in 1865, there were only 36 states in the Union, and there were 11 former Confederate states. And for an amendment to become law in the United States Constitution requires three-fourths of the states to ratify that amendment. And that amendment was born out of the smoky battle of Fort Fisher in January 1865 when United States colored troops captured Fort Fisher below Wilmington, North Carolina, and the news of that fiery battle was telegraphed to the United States Capitol and the United States House of Representatives voted to send that amendment out to the states. At that time, the Civil War was still raging. As the amendment was circulating through the United States, it got to the historic state capitol here in Raleigh, and the legislators in November convened to vote or not to ratify that 13th Amendment. As a former Confederate state, one of the conditions that the legislature required to begin debate on the amendment as for the removal of the United States colored troops from the state of North Carolina. The legislature continued to debate and here in North Carolina eventually did ratify the amendment on December 4th, 1865, known as Emancipation Day here in North Carolina. And two days later, our sister state out in Georgia ratified the amendment on December 6th, becoming the 27th state out of 36 in the union, or in other words, the three-fourths of the states that are required to ratify the amendment for it to become law and outlaw the scourge of slavery, not only in North Carolina, but in the United States and all its territories subject to its jurisdiction. <laughs>